Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And after a long vacation, uh, actually really just a week, but I think it was kind of long, a little bit longer than what I was expecting, uh, I am back and I'm back to go ahead and finally do the pose video of the high grade Moon Gundam. Now this is something I really been wanting to do, but I just kind of been putting it off for other different, you know, videos here and there, but nonetheless, it's just ready, it's super ripe to go ahead and finally be put into the poses that I really, really am going to enjoy. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. And here is the first pose. Uh, so I just wanted something a little bit dramatic. I wasn't going to go into the heavy stuff right away. Uh, but I think overall it doesn't look bad at all. I, I mean, I like it kind of just being a little dramatic, you know, reaching out for something. And you can definitely put in a lot of great angles, uh, especially with this uh, stand, which super, super amazing. Uh, I might do a review of it a little bit later. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's a really cool looking pose. Just, I mean, it, you know, it's really something just to kind of show off if you're going to do it like a diorama or something. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think the pose looks fine, so let's go ahead and move on to the second pose. And here's the second pose. Uh, so I just love these little, like, pretty much like beam boomerangs. Uh, I think they're super, super cool. Just very unique when it comes to mobile suits. Uh, the only ones I really see that have these type of weapons are kind of like the Destiny. Um, so I, I just wanted to go ahead and utilize it to my best advantage. So yeah, I like them. I think they look pretty damn cool, especially if you have like a couple of them just being thrown out. Uh, but I just want to go the more simple route and I just, throughout this one so yeah I went ahead and pretty much just do a very simple one I tried rotating the waist but the waist just would not rotate appropriately um, but yeah I think that might just be my kind of uh, user error but yeah it looks pretty good so let's move on to the third and final pose And here is the third and final pose. Uh, so I just really wanted to use this stand to the full potential it had. Uh, so it has like these little cable things on the side. Well, not really cables, just kind of like thin rubber uh, that is curved. So you can go ahead and attach different, you know, like funnels or you can attach weapons or a whole bunch of other little accessories, maybe even other kits uh, to these things and it holds up very, very nicely. So I just basically aligned them almost kind of like it's shielding itself from incoming attacks. Uh, looks pretty cool though. I mean, you could put them in a lot of different various poses. Um, just unfortunately you only get six that can clip on uh, so I'm pretty sure there's like maybe some extra stuff that you can go ahead and buy to uh, to get more of those uh, but I mean six was more enough I just you know doubled up on the little funnel pieces or the plates I should say uh, on two of the little uh, plates so two, two of them has two and then the rest are just singular uh, singular so yeah I just want to go ahead and utilize this stand and I think it came out pretty reasonably actually so that's about it guys uh, I just want to showcase some poses that you can go ahead and do with this if you have a stand like this or you can kind of create something uh, of the sort definitely go ahead and uh, and do that but if not I mean I'm pretty sure you, you guys are very creative enough to go ahead and pull off some pretty wicked poses but um, if you can go ahead and uh, tag me in some of your poses on Instagram or Twitter and I would definitely love to see them but that's all for me guys I'll be seeing y'all in the next video bye bye